Hey everybody, I'm Papa Pete, and it's my pleasure to let you know that it's time for the 2023 in Television Homebrew Awards. Uh, now this is the third year for the awards in its current format, and it's become a little bit more structured, a little bit better organized each and every year. Uh, it's also a perfect time to put a couple special thank yous out there. First of all, to Walter Pratt, who was the organizer of the awards back in the day before the current structure came into place. And also to Carlos Pedruga, who is the current organizer of the revised and updated program. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the eight categories that make up this year's awards. This year's awards are going to have the following categories. Best Action Game. Best Port or Conversion. Best in Television Hack. Best Original Game. Best Physical Product, which includes box, manual, overlays, and extras. Best Graphics. Best Sound and Music. And the final award, the 2023 in Television Homebrew Game of the Year. And now for the list of games that are eligible for the 2023 in Television Homebrew Awards. Now, first of all, one of the most important things to remember is the game had to actually be released and available for purchase and in the hands of some collectors, at least by the end of 2023. Now, the vast majority of the games released in 2023 are eligible for all the different categories in this year's Homebrew Awards. But there are some which are actually just variants, the re-releases of games released in previous years that are only updated packaging. So obviously these games are only eligible for the physical packaging award. And here are the games. James Bond 007 from Inti Home. Collector Visions Mr. Turtle. From Homebrew Inc, Caverns of Mars. Mr. Chess from Homebrew Inc. You were my love. Stop the Express, Homebrew Inc. I Yars Revenge, Homebrew Inc. Return of the Jedi, Ewok Adventure, Inti Home. Without an Tron Anthology, Intelligent Vision. Behavior that's hard. Locket Chase, Revenge of Lupin, Intelligent Vision. How could you put me X Rally, in Intelligent the Collector. I really miss Boing, Intelligent Revolution. In Amigo Cornhole, 511 Under Productions. From this incision, Melody Blaster 2, Intelligent really Revolutions. Fall 3, Return to the Caverns, in Television Revolution. Pumpkin Trilogy, Homebrew Inc. Rags to Riches, in Television Revolution. Rock'em Sock'em, Super Pro Boxing, Intelligent Vision. Striker, Super Pro Bowling, Intelligent Vision. Super Mario Brothers, Contravision Games. Super Pro Gammon, Intelligent Vision. Traffic Jam, Intelligent Revolution. Triple Challenge 2, Intelligent Revolution. Thunder Soldier, Homebrew Inc. Dragon Quest, Intellivision Collector. Intellivision. Zor, Intellivision Revolution. Space Panic, Intellivision I Collector. Want, I want my, Flappy Bird, I want my Collector Vision. Intellivision. I want, I want my, Space Raid, I want Collector my, Vision. Intellivision. Peter the P, Intellivision Revolution. I want my Intellivision. Ghostbusters Deluxe, Inti Home. I want my I want my Space Patrol 2024, Electronite. I want my I want my I want my 
Donkey Kong I Classic NES. In television. To television Revolution. And so I swear by Lock and Chase 8K. The television collector. I'm going to find my and that's the entire list of games first released as well as variants in 2023. The Intellivision Homebrew Awards Committee has chosen the nominees for each of these categories. There's five nominees for all the categories, except for Game of the Year, which has ten nominees. How does the uh, Intellivision Homebrew community vote for their favorite titles in each of these categories? Very simple. Go to Atari Age starting Sunday, March 24th at uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and there will be a... Uh, a poll there, a thread there, where you can go in and enter your votes for all the categories. Voting is going to be open for two weeks. It's going to close on midnight, Sunday, April 7th. So between now and then, we invite every single member of the Intellivision homebrew community, uh, television community in general, frankly, to go to Atari Age to vote to select this year's winners. If you're not familiar with the Atari Age forums, there's going to be a link in the description below to this video that will take you directly to the page where you can vote on the games. And now for the nominees in each category. First, Best Action Game. Super Mario Brothers, Publisher, Contravision Games, Programmer, The Contravision Team. Pitfall 3, Return to the Caverns, and Television Revolution Publisher, General Chaos, Programmer. Thunder Soldier, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Programmer. Caverns of Mars, Homebrew Inc., Publisher, Captain Ports, Programmer. And X-Rally, Intellivision Collector, Publisher, and Sergio Vérez, Programmer. Next we have Best Port or Conversion. Super Mario Brothers, Publisher, Contravision Games, Programmer, The Contravision Team. Dragon Quest. Intellivision Collector Publisher, Matthew Keel, Programmer. Caverns of Mars, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Programmer, Captain Ports. Pitfall 3, Return to the Caverns, Intellivision Revolution Publisher, General Chaos, Programmer. And Yars Revenge, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Professor Ports, Programmer. Next up, we have a new category for this year, Best in Television Hack. Tron Anthology, Intelligent Vision Publisher, David Harley, Programmer. Lock and Chase, Revenge of Lupin, Intelligent Vision Publisher, David Harley, Programmer. Melody Blaster 2, Intellivision Revolution Publisher, Michael Hayes, Programmer. Rock'em Sock'em Super Pro Boxing, Intelligent Vision Publisher, David Harley, Programmer. And Striker Super Pro Bowling, Intelligent Vision Publisher, David Harley, Programmer. Best Original Game. Thunder Soldier, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Programmer. Mr. Chess. Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Programmer. Amigo Cornhole, 511 Under Productions Publisher, Harvey Klein, Programmer. Mr. Turtle, Collector Vision Publisher, The Collector Vision Team, Programmer. And Pumpkin Trilogy, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Programmer. Next up, we have Best Physical Product and Extras, which of course includes box, manuals, overlays, and all of the other things that would come with the homebrew games. This is also the category which all the other variants are eligible for the award. Ghostbusters Deluxe, Any Home Publisher, Dino Yachaya, Box, Manuals, Overlays, and Special Cartridge Design. Dragon Quest, Intellivision Collector Publisher, Steve Jones and Luke Boudreaux Box, Mark Thompson Manual, and Phil Bolin Overlays. Locket Chase 8K, Intellivision Collector Publisher, Steve Jones Box, Mark Thompson Manual, and Phil Boland Overlays. Amigo Cornhole, 
511 Under Productions publisher, Harvey DeKlein, Box, Manuals and Overlays. Tron Anthology, Intelligent Vision publisher, Steve Jones Box, Mark Thompson Manual and Phil Bolin Overlays. Best Graphics Dragon Quest, Intellivision Collector Publisher, Matthew Keel Graphics. Super Mario Brothers, Contravision Games Publisher, The Contravision Team Graphics. Pitfall 3, Return to the Caverns, Intellivision Revolution Publisher, General Chaos Graphics. Thunder Soldier, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez Graphics. Stop the Express, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Carlos Madruga Graphics. Best Sound and Music, which includes all aspects of the sound effects as well as the music that goes along in the game. Super Mario Brothers, Contravision Games Publisher, The Contravision Team's Sound and Music. Dragon Quest, the Television Collector Publisher, Matthew Keel Sounds and Music. Pitfall 3, Return to the Caverns, and Television Revolution, Publisher, General Chaos, Sound and Music. Caverns of Mars, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Captain Ports, Sound and Music. And Pumpkin Trilogy, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Sound and Music. And finally, we have the 10 nominees for 2023 in Television Homebrew Game of the Year. Dragon Quest, and television collector publisher, Matthew Keel, programmer. Super Mario Brothers, Contravision Games publisher, the Contravision team, programmer. Pitfall 3, Return to the Caverns, and television revolution publisher, General Chaos, programmer. Caverns of Mars, Homebrew Inc. publisher, Captain Ports, programmer. Thunder Soldier, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, Programmer. Yars Revenge, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Professor Ports, Programmer. Zor, and Television Revolution Publisher, Deckel, Programmer. X Rally, and Television Collector Publisher, Sergio Verez, Programmer. Stop the Express, Homebrew Inc. Publisher, Carlos Madruga, Programmer. And Tron Anthology, Intelligent Vision Publisher, David Harley, Programmer. And those are your nominees for the 2023 Intellivision Homebrew Awards. One thing that's very interesting to notice, there's nine different credited programmers for the 10 different games nominated for Game of the Year. Once again, the polls will be opening very soon, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, uh, Sunday, March 24th, when you'll be able to follow the link in the description below directly to the spot where you can vote for your favorite games. Uh, the polls will be open until April 7th at midnight Central Standard Time, uh, so you have a little bit over two weeks, two weeks pretty much exactly to vote for your, your favorite games. Uh, at that point, the polls will close and then we'll announce the winners here on my channel. And we'll be having a special award ceremony as we've had for the past two years. Uh, announcing the winners, it'll be at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time on Friday, uh, April 12th. So uh, hopefully we will all see you there. It'll not only be me announcing the winners, but I'd like to have a lot of special guests with me from the Intellivision Homebrew community as well. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It has been for the last couple of years. And I really look forward to this each and every year. Celebrating uh, not only the great programmers and publishers who bring all these games to us, but basically celebrating the entire Intellivision Homebrew community because it's an absolutely amazing place and amazing community uh, and I'm, that I'm proud to be a member of. Once again, the, don't forget to get your votes in. You have two weeks to do so. It's very important that as many members vote as possible. And uh, I really hope to see you all in the chat on April 12th. Uh, in the meantime, uh, do me a favor. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you back here on April 12th. You take care. Flying a plane. I want my television. A 
again. Hey, it's Paul Nerman or Nermix from the Intellivisionaries podcast, and you're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. My mother sold mine in the garage sale. Pity.